Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we are back, and we're going to be going over um, our envelopes, an envelope in our modulation section. So the modulation section uh, are these uh, blue and green tabs. Uh, so we have our four envelopes, uh, right? So the, the fourth one uh, is always reserved for the amplifier. So we're going to be playing around with that next, or mostly. So uh, we there's a attack, uh, decay, sustain, and release so an attack is basically okay when when you hit a, a key uh, basically the ADSR triggers on whatever it it is in this case it's the amplifier so if I were to completely not have this on there so the synth has no ADSR it just plays like that and I can't do anything right can't do anything uh, because there's nothing controlling the amplifier, right? We need something to control the amplifier. So MIDI goes in, and it affects this. So how does it affect it? Well, uh, we'll start out with the basics first. So attack is a slow rise. So we have a, a long attack. The, the Think of this as volume. Okay, it takes a while for the sound to reach. Um, it's the... Uh, highest value um, from the start off point start point right and that's good for pads and such right that's our attack the level is uh, kind of the curve of the attack right, if you want something a little bit more smoother then it's all good if you want something that's really snappy uh, have it like that uh, decay is the amount of time um, this is kind of on its own, it's not relevant because uh, this part, think of the decay as the looping point. If it's at full velocity, it'll be full full velocity as long as you have your finger on the key, right? How you change that is the level. So, so what happens is the decay uh, will, the, there's, there's um, a very fast attack. It'll be really loud at the start and then the volume will come down. And you, you'll hear that now. Right, that's a little too short. Right, it starts out really loud, and then it goes down. Right, but then it'll stop there. Right, so the volume goes up, and then really quickly, so at in this point it's instant, and it goes down. So picture like an imaginary dot. Right, and then it stops here. And right here is where it basically stops um, until you let go of the key. And that's when the release takes over. So when you let go of the key, it needs to, it needs to go from uh, sound uh, to no sound. And the release dictates how fast that happens. So a really fast release happens instantly. A slow release. Okay, you can't hear that. I'll have that. I let go and there's a really long release so for you know pads again say if we're doing it this way a fast or a slow attack and a slow release right so a brassy 80s sound right and that's for so this is this is affecting the amplifier right oh, i'm gonna set it back down to one voice so yeah that's uh basically how you do it, right? So there's something called sustain. So remember how uh, the sound gets to this point, right? Here, I'll show you again, because this is uh, an excellent way to think about it, in my humble teaching opinion. Here, I'll go down. Right, so it starts off loud, and then it gradually goes down here, and it stays here. So right here is where the sustain uh, takes over in my opinion, right? So there's a sustain mode. It's a little different. So what I'll do is I'll have uh, the decay, I'll completely delete the, the decay, and I'll set up uh, a sustain loop. Now this is a little bit more advanced. Um, you know, the, the ADSR and Silent One is a little more, you know, simple, uh, but I wanna set up something. So I'm gonna go uh, loop to infinity, so 
for this part, you know, it's, such, it's like a straight line, you know what I mean? And that's all good. And the level from uh, where that sound ends, right, down to down here, uh, it's kind of like that. So, so it does that. So that's like in a linear fashion. So what I'm getting at is I want to morph this, right? So I'm going to add in uh, some curves. So I'm going to go extreme mixed with expo maybe. Nope. Okay, see? Yeah, like that. So that's that's very the the think of like the imaginary dot as the sounds kind of decaying around there. It's like garbling. And it's and it's looping in, in infinitely. So if, so, if, so if I set it to loop one, all right, there's a little bit of jitter, and that kind of emulates um, our, you know, analog gear, right? So it's it's a it's a different way of kind of kind of doing stuff, and the level uh, is the intensity. So what I want to do, uh, and there's presets here. Let's say I will go. Rotor, why not? Why are you so quiet? Oh, I didn't have accent on, sorry. So I want to kind of morph a triangle with switch, I guess. So, and that's looped infinitely. I can set it to loop uh, once. Right, so you can get some like really interesting like expressive uh, modulations that way. And that's just with the, uh, the amplifier. Right, so it's a vibrato type thing and that's all in the envelope. So that's pretty powerful. So I'm going to give you a, a better example. So again, four is always reserved for the amplifier. And you can't really change that. Well, you can change that, but the sound will just go on forever, and it sounds pretty crap. So we're going to drag and drop our envelope here, right? And that is to the filter, which will soon be the filter cutoff, right? So we want to modulate the cutoff. All right, not doing anything, but we need to... Um, so, how we're going to do this is you move the mouse, you click on the one and you move the mouse up, so this blue thing, all right, this envelope is affecting this, so envelope one is modulating the cutoff, you can see it, and it's colorful and pretty. All right, so we see the decay, the, the ADSR, just like the, the volume, or the amplifier, uh, it's affecting it in the same way. Right, so you think of it as the maximum, um, the maximum uh, velocity or the, the maximum value of the envelope here is where this blue guy starts, right? And the lowest, well, right here, is where the actual cutoff point is. So you can clearly see what it does. Right? And, uh, and, it, and it's really cool and simple. basic uh, envelope filter cutoff. So again, you know, just think of it as uh, attack, you know, or the delay. So the delay, it's kind of, so it's kind of a lag between uh, the gate triggering or the, the, you know, the MIDI, you hitting the key and the actual ADSR uh, coming into effect. So all this time has to pass. I'll press the button, and then this will finally trigger. So that's that has like certain uses if you want to really kind of have a delay, and you can get some interesting sounds that way. All right, very simple, you know, very oldie like, but uh, it is all well and good and you can basically uh, modulate a lot of things 
You know, you can uh, have an envelope for the pitch, so you can drag that here, and this is, you know. So this envelope right here, we'll have a, we'll have it up. Right. And as as simple as dragging and dropping, and this is like one shot uh, kind of samples. An LFO is basically another oscillator, and that is the next video. We're gonna be going over LFOs and uh, these three tabs or four tabs, if I can count. All right, we'll be back.